Walk slowly The rest of your life, my dear That high surging idle you saw earlier is a potential result of installing the Moto Flex Fuel module and is how my N54 powered Z4 ran on first start. It wasn't responsive to throttle input and was literally undrivable. Because I'd just done work to a number of different systems, it wasn't immediately obvious what had gone wrong and where. I removed the charge pipe and throttle body to get to the fuel lines, I replaced those fuel lines to fit the ethanol content sensor, repinned parts of the DME harness to install the Flex Fuel module, and loaded a new tune to MHD to make it all work together. As a result, I tried a bunch of other diagnoses before finally reaching out to Motive to see if they might know the cause, which they did, but never told anyone about or bothered to fix. Even worse, there are more than a few people on the forums that have had this problem, never figured out the cause, and decided to just take the loss and move on. This is just part one of the trials and tribulations I've had with the Motive Flex Fuel module, how to fix them, and why you're probably better off buying something else altogether. What you'll find when you get your flex fuel the first thing you're going to want to do is connect these connectors. So you're going to want to take a look specifically at the black and brown wire. So the black wire is in pin 7, the brown wire is in pin 6. You're going to want to look over at the other side and see what is in pin 7 and what is in pin 6. Pin 6 is this white wire. It aligns with this brown wire. That's how it's supposed to be. Pin 7 is the red power wire. However, on this side, pin seven is the black ground wire. This is not correct. The black ground wire on pin seven should be aligned with the black ground wires on pin eight. So what's happening instead is you're pulling power into this red wire and it's pushing power into the ground of the flex fuel module. What you want to do to fix this, it's very simple. You unplug, and within this connector, you're going to see this little orange guy. You take a pair of needle nose pliers, and you pull this orange guy out. It takes a little bit of force. Then you take a small flathead screwdriver. You find pin 7, the black wire, is right there, and you move this little tab out so you can pull the black wire out and then you slowly pull that out and you want pin seven to go into as we can see on this wire pin eight which is the top so we look at pin eight we stick this guy right back into pin eight it's the pin ultimate Right, do I have this turned correctly? Thread it back up. Make sure it goes all the way in. You saw that little thing snap into place. You want to keep pushing it up. As a matter of fact, let's help it along. Because you want it to be the same height as the other pins. There we go. You see how all the pins are the same height now? Once all the pins are the same height, you grab this guy with your needle nose put it in there, you can see it has little divots that align with each one of them. Push it down, boom. You have now rewired this connector. This is all a mistake coming from Motive. This has been wired incorrectly for this. Once you've done that, you take it, you plug it back in, you verify. The red power wires go to nothing. Pin seven, nothing. Pin seven here. That is because the red comes in, it just connects internally, comes out, goes into this harness, which goes out to the ethanol content sensor. So the red, the power here, is only powering 
the ethanol content sensor itself. The flex fuel gets power from somewhere else. So, double checking, black ground wires, pin eight, black ground wire, pin eight. Pin six, brown, pin six, white. But it is now routed correctly. This is a very simple fix. However, for reasons unknown, Motive essentially refuses to do the quality assurance check to make sure this is correctly pinned when they send it out to you. They know it's an issue. They don't care. There you go.